Okay, this is day 185 of One Brotherhood Part 2. Thanks to all the great contributors. Just amazes me continually how smart there are people out there. Someone said, I know James Clapper, and he is no genius. So it kind of reminded me of that Lloyd Benson, uh, Dan Quayle dig. Um, if not Clapper, I thought Bouchard wrote a thing called Network-Centric Warfare. The idea was the fog of war... Uh, you lose track of your men as soon as the battle starts. And his idea was give e instrument everybody, everybody's rifle, everybody's Jeep, everybody's everything, and have them talking to each other. So it sort of, this is where the Internet of Things was born, and that's network-centric warfare. So even if you lose half of your army, you still have uh, telemetry on all your resources. So um, that that com that's going to come in handy in managing rat lines as well uh, in Pakistan <clears throat> and all over the world, really, including uh, going after deplorables in the United States. So uh, I thought Clapper wrote a, a paper. It's it's classified, so I don't know for sure. But I thought he wrote network centric surveillance, which was about targeting you know um, targeting rat lines and so forth. We'll see. Uh, Bouchard wrote network centric surveillance. Then he's even smarter than I thought he was. But I thought Clapper was the genius behind that. But moving on to the uh, just two. This is what I call link analysis, where you just link two addresses. This is the first address I went to where the where the contractors were living uh, when I went to that uh, Springfield, uh, Virginia home. And the guy came to the door and so forth and said, who are you? And then this is the Hawkshead Drive. This is one of the last of the 12 homes I went to. Um, this is the one where the Marine stood on the front uh, porch and said, um, I know for a fact that the Imran's stored illegal stolen equipment here. I called the FBI. Uh, then I talked to somebody from Capitol Police, and then I talked to somebody from one of the major branches, intelligence services. So there's three major agencies involved. Um, it's going to be a very similar uh, story to when uh, Mahmoud killed uh, the car dealer down in Virginia. Uh, DHS was involved. Basically, all the alphabet soup of companies uh, or, or agencies was involved. But anyway, here's where the Marines stood on the uh, porch and swore to me uh, that uh, those were stolen Blackberries and four stolen laptops. We still don't know if those are Hillary and Valerie Jarrett's laptops and Cheryl Mills's laptops. We don't know that. Uh, everyone wants to discount that right off the bat. I've never said that they are. But if you are McCabe and you are in Washington, D.C., if you put them in the vault, then anybody at the FBI, especially in counterterrorism, can do the right thing any day and then get that to a newspaper reporter. So if you put it out here in Lorton, uh, maybe that's the safest place for it, especially when the person who owns the home or is renting the home doesn't know about it. But we'll leave that for another, uh, leave that for another time. But I just wanted to analyze, I just want to analyze the roads here for a second. And the reason is because at this, at this home here, we had, uh, if you watch the last video, you have this guy named Samson, Samson Too Queer, uh, Winfield. So it sounds like a fake name for, for right from the beginning. And it just turns out, even though that Imran loves fast cars, Sammy, I'm going to call him Sammy, uh, Sammy Too Queer, um, Sammy Too Queer uh, Winfield, uh, who starts all these companies, six, six different companies at that location, he gets 17 traffic tickets. He gets 17 traffic tickets. Now, that could be because there's contractors coming in, and then Imran just gives them the uh, license and says, hey, if you get pulled over, just give them this, this license, which would make a lot of sense. Uh, but then again, I started thinking about how close this Thomas Drive was to, uh, this, is the, this is the East Center for NGA. This is the uh, kind of the, they call it Geo -int Drive, Geo Intelligence Drive. They're very short trips. And this is very slow Washington Beltway traffic. The chances of getting a ticket there are not very good. Uh, it's much more likely to get a ticket if you're running a longer rat line with more open highway, where you could run those Mercedes and BMWs that Sammy used to, uh, excuse me, that Imran used to sell over at CIA uh, car dealership from Falls Church. So that's just a working theory, but it's one of two. I don't believe Sammy's a real person. Um, with, but someone said the two queer name is an actual Indian name. So I'm not ruling that out either. It could be, uh, could be, but anyway, if you look at a little bit longer map, uh, first of all, the Lorton home and the Springfield home are almost equidistant. It's a little bit farther from the Lorton home to get the NGA. And as, 
I've said in the past, here's where DISA is. I believe that they're taking the NGA information and moving it to DISA. The reason why is DISA, DISA is where it gets disseminated to DHS. If you're managing a rat line in the United States, you're going to need to get it to DISA. You can't just have it over here at NGA. NGA is a, a military operation. It's at Fort, um, it's not Fort Belvedere, but it's Fort Belvoir or something like that. Uh, so you need to get it to a, um, you need to get it to a civilian uh, agency. So I think uh, in analyzing Sammy's tickets, you're going to see a lot of action between these two. Just my, and this is false church. This is where the mosque is and the CIA front. Uh, car dealership is so I think this is the money kind of goes this way and then the well, who knows maybe everything goes this way but uh, I think the tickets are going to be in here now there's another school of thought which says no it's a much longer rat line uh, first this is Woodbridge this is down where the uh, El Salvador embassy is uh, excuse me the consulate and they that's where the one home was where I, I thought Mahmoud might answer the door with uh, with weaponry uh, which I was hoping I could talk him into going in and, and, and turning himself in, but he did, he wasn't there. But anyway, uh, I think so between Woodbridge and Falls Church, I think is where Sammy's tickets are going to be, which are really going to be Imran's in my opinion. But if you take the longer view and say, well, if MS-13 is down here, why are they down here on this road? Are they the ones running from Norfolk and running the rat line all the way to the edge of Woodbridge? And then from Woodbridge, it gets brought in uh, by... Um, gets brought in by Mahmoud and gets distributed all around to all these different points. He's got a perfect cover. He's got a, a goal transportation. He goes around to the different car dealers and he distributes it. That's why you would want the El Salvador consulate right there in Woodbridge. Just a, just an analysis, not proof of anything, but just looking at where are these, where are these 17 tickets going to be? If there's a lot of tickets in here, that means Imran's making the run all the way down or somebody that he lives with him is making the run all the way down. The other theory is going out this way to Manassas, and if this is the map, Manassas is way out here. This is Manassas Mahmoud. It's where he lived. Uh, if you remember correctly, the killers, the two El Salvadorian MS-13, went down here to Richmond. They killed the, with Mahmoud. They killed the car dealer, and then they came back. They didn't change their clothes in Woodbridge. They drove all the way over to uh, Mahmoud, Manassas M Mahmoud's house uh, to get rid of their clothes because they didn't want to... Uh, have any evidence coming back to that Woodbridge safe house there. So it's just an interesting, you know, analysis of where these things are going to be. Now my analysis or my guess is actually Omar is the super brains behind the whole outfit. He's the kind of the uh, interface to the White House. He's interface to other folks, kind of the, you know, the grand man of this plan. And the guy who's the chauffeur in this, uh, situation is really Imran. He's the one who's running out to Manassas. He's running out to Fredericksburg, which is a long drive. He's running down to Norfolk, maybe, to pick up these these guys as they come in. Who knows? Um, the tickets will tell the answer. So uh, that's all I'll do for right now, just because I'm really interested in the geolocation of these 17 tickets and, and mapping them on this, on these rat lines and seeing where they fall. Thanks.